Well, kids are back to school, and as any parent will tell you, going back to school inevitably means someone is going to get sick. Now, this is the most normal school year since the start of the virus, but that doesn't mean COVID's gone away. So what do you do if your child tests positive? Well, Miami-Dade Schools continues to advise children who are sick with flu-like symptoms to stay home. Children who test positive must immediately notify the school. Parents, and this is important, it does not matter if you use an at-home PCR test or another one either should be accepted by the school. You just have to let them know which one you used. A student who tests positive must isolate for five days and may return on day six, but that's only if they are fever free for 24 hours without the use of medicine. The district will also notify close contacts of possible exposure through quarantine, though quarantine is no longer recommended by the CDC. In Broward, the advice is very similar. Students who test positive and show symptoms must isolate for five days. They also have to be fever free without the use of medicine on day six to return. No additional testing is required after that first positive test. Now, for students who test positive but don't show symptoms, they can return on the sixth calendar day, provided they are fever-free without the use of medicine. Broward Schools leaves it up to the parents how they want to handle close contacts. They can attend school or quarantine a student for no more than seven days. And we know there are also a lot of students in the Archdiocese schools. Those schools require parents to fill out its exposure infection form to report a close contact or diagnose infections. Students who test positive must isolate for at least five days and can return on day six if they no longer show symptoms. They are not required to test in order to return to school. Now we know this is a lot to take in. That's why we have posted all of this information on our website, cbsmiami.com.